Okay, so in this activity, what you're going to be doing is trying to model mathematically the number of pieces of candy in a container and the mass of the container. So when you start out, your container will be filled to a certain level. We're going to call that level four. To get the number of pieces, make an estimate based on this candy meter. And each of these lines is worth 50. So this is 200. That's 250. We're a little beyond the halfway point. So maybe we're about 230 or 240. Make your best estimate. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to get within a certain percentage. The more trials you do, the more accurate your net result will be. Once you have your number of pieces, you then measure the mass of the container. Remember, you're not just weighing the candy, but you're weighing the container too. So when you do this, you'll get a mass. In this case, we're at 351 point something. If you zoom in, you'll get a zoomed in view of the bottom beam of the triple beam. So again, it's 351.15. There's no need to go to the nearest um, hundredth of a gram. So 351.1 or 351.2 would both be great. Once you did level four, you want to do a few more levels. The more levels you do, the better your results will be. So I'm going to do level six. I have a mass this time of 419.5 or 0.6. Again, Take your reading to the nearest tenth of a gram should be fine. To see how many uh, pieces of candy are in that container, change it to measure number. And it looks like we are just a little beyond 300. So maybe 301, 305. Again, just put an approximation by collecting a lot of data. It should all wash out. Again, switch to multiple different levels. So we've done two levels. Try and do at least five. If you do all 10, you'll get even better results. And again, for each level, record the number of candy pieces inside the container and record the mass. Once you've done all your different levels, at least five, again, more is better. You wanna take it into a graphing program. The number of pieces should be on your X axis. The mass of the system should be on the y-axis. And when you plot it out, hopefully you will get a linear graph. It is not a proportional graph because even when you have no pieces of candy, you are still going to have a mass because of the container itself. Your equation should be y equals mx plus b. You want to figure out what is the meaning of the slope and what is the meaning of this y-intercept. If you then need to figure out what the mass would be for a certain number of candies that you didn't measure, you can just plug the number of pieces in for X and solve for Y. If you wanted to know how many pieces it would take to get to a certain total mass, you plug in your total mass and you solve it for X. Once you have your graph, you can then switch back to this program, put in your name, Based on your equation, I need the mass of the container. I want to know how much 10 pieces of candy would weigh. That's without the container, just 10 pieces of candy. What's that mass like? And then I want the mass of the system with a set number of pieces. And that number is randomly generated and will be given to you at the top. So for me, it's 13 pieces of candy. And what I would do with that is I would use that in my equation to figure out the mass of the system. <clears throat> so one last time, this bottom one is the mass of the system with 13 pieces. This is the mass of just the candy when you have 10 pieces. And this is the mass of the container by itself with no candy in it. Hopefully when you're done and you submit, you'll get within the range of allowable error and you will have successfully completed this activity.